Howdy folks, my name is Austin Elbert, and some of you may know me on Instagram as Millennial Marksman, and I'm a shooter for Macmillan, and I've been competing with them for the last 11 years now, since 2009, in Sportsman's Team Challenge. That is a four-gun event where we shoot rimfire rifle, rimfire pistol, centerfire pistol, and shotgun. It is a two- and three-person team event, and the most fun you can have on the range with your buddies, bar none. And I've met so many wonderful people through there. And if it weren't for my shotgunning days, walking up to Kelly McMillan in 2009 at the NRA show, I don't know if I'd be wearing the shirt today. And I'm just supremely grateful to McMillan for all they've done for me these years and support. And every championship I've won, every regional title I have, every rimfire event I've attended since 2009 has had the McMillan stock. And to the left of me here, you can see one of their newest offerings. This is the Game Warden Package for the Ruger American Short Action. Uh, these things are made in batches in FDE and all drab. They come with an amazing sole strategic DBM system. Uh, fantastic engineering going on inside of here. Uh, there's an escutcheon system in the rear. So you have a traditional two action screw appearance from the bottom. And they've done that so that you can have the action screw for the Ruger, which happens to lie between the bolt handle and ejection port inlet right here hidden underneath the magazine catch just a flawless system on top of that today i'm going to be bringing you my review of the thunderbird long range bag system this is their hunter's wedge this is the tacky sack this is the mini tacky and also have a pair of the first generation and new generation rear bags now some of these bags such as the tacky sack and the rear bag I've had for a couple years now. Uh, found them through a YouTube video after seeing them at the match and I want to learn more about the bags. Fantastic content on there from Thunderbird Long Range. And I picked up the tacky sack. You can request different fill levels. Uh, this one happens to be a 70% and that allows this bag to be just pliable enough where if I throw it over a barricade it goes ahead and clamps down for me. Gives me a nice grippy flat surface on there and it's not too heavy with the fill they have in here. You can get heavier, you can get lighter with the Git Light. We're going to get to that with the Hunter's Wedge. The rear bags have gone through a bit of an iteration change. We now have a paracord lanyard loop sewn in and a strap for your fingers to go through on the rear so you can use that to control how packed and dense the rear bag is if you want a little more elevation a little less elevation you've got different ways to grip the new bag and it's a little more durable should you leash it to the sling on your rifle which i have been doing now the rear bag this one has been through the ringer and back i have frayed out one of the straps and that's why i'm grateful for the new changes for the new generation this bag lived on my hunting rifle as i was going around and Every single time that I needed just that little bit of support in the nook of a tree on top of a fence post, shooting off the back of a side-by-side, -side, this little bag, just slide it forward on the sling, lay the rifle on there, and I was ready to rip. So if you just don't want a simple hunting bag for a rear bag, uh, Thunderbird Long Range rear bags, but get the new generation because it's 10 times better. You have a little more surface area here should you throw it over a rail or on top of a cedar post or something. Just gives you a nice flat surface for your rifle to rest upon and balance on. And just all around the rear bags rock. Let's get to the main event of the evening, folks. This thing is super light, super light. Maybe a pound, 1.3, somewhere in there. This is the Hunter's Wedge designed by Braz and available only through longrangeonly.com. Uh, the guys at Thunderbird Long Range, they figured out how to sew this thing. And if you're wondering why there's a McMillan rifle in a video where I'm talking mostly about rear bags, well, on the Game Warden, if you notice the angle from the grip to the toe of the stock, uh, the Game Warden has this, the A3 Sporter has this, uh, the Game Hunter will have this, the HTG, is almost the same angle from grip to toe. But most of your McMillan stocks that don't have the butt hook design or the A4 flat bottom design or an F-class stock are gonna have a similar angle to this. Now, Bra is over at Long Range Only. He's another McMillan shooter and he loves his stocks and he wanted just that perfect rear bag. Now, designing that, took a little geometry and figured out what this angle was 
and mated that to the design of the bag. So now, if you have your rifle, right now it's sitting on a 9 to 13 bipod all the way down. And if I have it all the way forward, it completely supports the stock in the rear from the grip to the toe. The toe is just maybe a finger's width off the flat plane of the bench. And if I wanted more elevation, I could simply slide this to the rear and the muzzle will drop. If I wanted less elevation, do that. So if you're shooting downhill, this is the perfect bag. And if you use the new generation two rear bag, it's the same footprint. So I can put that on there and really get that rifle canted down while being fully supported. Uh, great for a uh, canyon shot. If you're up on top of the elk, up on top of your coos deer, your mule deer, and you need to get down into that canyon for that perfect precise shot, this is where this bag comes into its own. Now on the front of the bag for the hunter's wedge, there is another strap. Uh, it's a carry strap, easy to grab it out of the bag when you need it in that setup moment. And more than anything, it's the perfect place to put three or four fingers in there depending on the size of your hand. I've got somewhat bare paws, but I can still get my whole hand in there and that allows me to slide this fore and aft and I can give it just that little squeeze. And what I've found on the range shooting this, I've taken this rifle out to just a little over 1200 and that's pretty promising for a $400 barreled action from Ruger in 6.5 Creedmoor and is a huge testament to the ergonomics of the McMillan stock. But with my hand in there, what I've found is you get your crosshair right about where you want it, just above the target. So if you're aiming for the boiler room on that elk, on that trophy mule deer, or you're just dinging a plate, just get your crosshair right above it. That slight squeeze is just enough compression on the material in here, and that'll bring your crosshair down, do your proper fundamentals, breathing control, trigger control, flat press, just finish flat, and you're gonna have a supremely improved long range shooting experience. Now, as I said, with that 1.3 pound weight, maybe a little less, uh, this is their Get Light fill. You can choose a standard fill, which is present in this. And if you had these two on a scale, I'm sorry, I don't have one right now, but the tacky sack with standard fill weighs about twice as much as the hunter's wedge. Now, if you're going long range backpacking, you're hiking way back into the back country, you're not gonna see your truck or your buggy or side by side for days maybe, get light fill. You don't lose any support other than if you want a little heavier bag to dig into the ground and have a little more resistance to that moment of inertia when your rifle recoils. Other than that, I, don't, I haven't seen anything wrong. This is 30 range days in. It's got a little bit of wear and tear on it. Uh, this wax canvas is just holding up great. It's been wet, it's been through the mud, it's been through the sand, it's been in a pond accident, but still fantastic. Hose it off, brush it off, and it's still ticking along just fine. Above all that, 30 days in, how do I feel about the Thunderbird long range system? The new rear bag is going everywhere with me. The tacky sack will continue to be my match barricade bag and go anywhere barricade bag. And the hunter's wedge from now on, if the McMillan stock is on my rifle, it's going with me. Just, it's that good. And I can't thank Braz enough for brainstorming this, the guys at Thunderbird Long Range enough for bringing it to life and putting it on the market. And if you want one, again, longrangeonly.com is the exclusive retailer of the Hunter's Wedge rear support system. Folks, stay tuned. I'm getting closer and closer to my final review on the Game Warden combo for the Ruger American. The only hitch right now is I'm waiting on my studio to be set up. So I'm gonna have a full on backdrop and proper lighting and audio. So it's gonna be a primo review and I'm excited to bring that to you. Again, my name's Austin Elbert, Team McMillan giving you a review of the Thunderbird long range bag systems. And if you want one, if you're a hunter, if you're a PRS shooter, if you just want to have a better day at the range, Thunderbird long range is where you should go for your support bags. Thanks folks. And just have a good day. Be nice to each other. Take a buddy to the range that someone's never shot before. Let's grow this community. Let's be good to each other. I'll see you next time. Thanks.